Hey, this is Matt Wimmer from Brody Precision. In this video, we are back in Niagara, and we're taking a look at an error message that's been popping up a lot over the past couple weeks related to the new version of Chrome, Chrome uh, 117. And uh, it's an error message that you'll get when you go to log into your station or um, supervisor or Jace from Chrome. Uh, you'll get this error message if you're using TLS or SSL encryption with a particular kind of certificate. So let's jump in and take a closer look. All right, so Chrome 117 uh, made a change security-wise that uh, deprecated uh, SHA-1 signature algorithms in SSL certificates. Uh, and there's a link here to the uh, feature definition and explanation and all the technical jargon from the Chrome developers about uh, this change. But SHA-1 basically was an encryption uh, or a, a hashing algorithm that uh, has been considered weak and unaccepted uh, by browsers for a long, long time. And you haven't been able to use it uh, in your uh, server certificates for uh, quite a while now, since uh, 2017. But they were allowed in root certificates and this change seems to remove that uh, exception. So the symptoms that you, you'll get are, uh, first off, you need to be running uh, Chrome version 117 or above. Uh, this applies to all of the versions of Chrome. So PC, Mac, Android. We actually, the first time we saw this pop up was through uh, Android. Uh, you're going to connect to your supervisor or Jace and you're going to get this error SSL version or cipher mismatch error. So how do we identify that this is actually the problem? So the first thing is that you need to get this error message from within the browser. Second thing is you're going to do this workaround flag uh, in Chrome. And uh, what this basically is, is it's a uh, sort of back-end feature in Chrome that's sort of hidden away a bit that turns off this change that the developers made. And uh, so we're going to turn that on, and then we're going to try to connect again to our supervisor. And if we connect successfully, we know that this was the issue. So let's uh, jump into Chrome and see this in action. All right, so we're over in Chrome now, and you can see I pulled up uh, this site, and I blurred out the location of it because this is actually a, a customer site. And uh, you can see we're getting this error message. So uh, that's the error message that we're thinking that is uh, this new issue with 117. And if I uh, open up a new tab and I just do a Chrome uh, version, you can see I'm at 117. The other way to do this is if you just go to your three dots at the side here, go to settings, and go to about, you'll see your version is here. We're going to close out of these, and then we're going to open up our flags now, which is Chrome, colon, slash, slash, flags. And then we're going to be looking for the uh, SHA-1 server signatures, TLS. Uh, I've also included the direct link to this particular flag, which will take you automatically to this location um, in that PowerPoint presentation, which will be included on BP Tech Center uh, with this video. So I'm going to enable this. It's going to say that it needs to relaunch Chrome in order to enable it. Okay, we'll relaunch. Comes back up. And if I go back over here to the site, you can see it comes up fine. So we know now that this is the issue. Our second way of identifying this is uh, outside of Chrome completely. We can use this uh, SSL test. That's available for free online. Uh, this just assumes that you're using a public URL for uh, your site. The website obviously has to be able to access your site in order to uh, take a look at your certificates and things. You're going to ignore the grade that the SSL test gives you because, uh, as is the case with this particular site, you could get an A+, but uh, Chrome is still going to... Uh, return the error if you have this SHA-1 in your certificate. So that's what we're going to be looking for in the certificates is the SHA-1 uh, signature algorithm in the certificate. And what this looks like is this. So uh, we've got our server and key. It's giving us a bunch of information about uh, 
the signature algorithm where it's coming from uh, and then we can see all of the keys in the chain or the uh, certificates in the chain excuse me uh, and what they're using for their key and signature algorithms everything looks good uh, we're using SHA-256, SHA-384, SHA-384 then we get to the root certificate and it's SHA-1 that's where our issue is coming from so next thing is we have to fix that the way that this gets fixed, unfortunately, is you have to go and get your certificate reissued by whoever signed it for you. Um, this may involve you choosing a different signer. So at CoDaddy, uh, when you purchase a certificate, you actually have the ability to use um, different issuers for the certificate. Uh, they have their GoDaddy SHA-2 issuer. Then they have uh, um, another one as well that uh, is also SHA-2. So that is your fix for it. Uh, wish it was easier, but that is the fix. So hopefully that's helpful and informative. Hopefully you run into this problem. Uh, now you have the information to be able to fix it and you know what you're looking for in order to, t to determine if it is the problem. We've been seeing a lot more of this over the last couple of weeks as people start to upgrade their or update their Chrome browsers. Um, we've had at least four three or four in the last week um, related to this come up. So uh, hopefully it's helpful. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.